hello guys welcome um, in this tutorial I am going to explain to you how you can draw um, the character from the from the, the game Among Us as you are probably watching on the screen this is very easy that's uh, something that we are going to do very quickly I have already set for a base reference image on the internet okay i have found this one that's enough i suppose um, and let's start this this tutorial the first thing that uh, i am going to do is to add the image over here for reference i will not going to use this this panel so i think that we can replace them just select image editor and open your image that I have saved on the desktop now that we have our reference image it's time to start modeling I am going to use this cube over here let's just scale it uh, a little bit so press 3 to go to the right view S and now let's press 1 1 to go to the front okay this one uh, so let's press S and Z to scale it on the Z axis. I think that this size is good. I am doing this by eye. I don't have any detailed reference such as a blueprint or something. I just have this picture. Um, now press 3 and then S and Y to scale it on the Y axis. I think that is good this way okay. now let's press tab to go to edit mode and let's make the the legs or the let's split the body and the legs to do that press ctrl r to add some edge loops then click with the mouse button and drag and drop to the place where you want it I think that here is good um, I surely advise you to activate the x-ray because we are going to model the, the character and if you don't have this activated when you select uh, vertices or faces etc you only select those that are visible so to make all of them visible make sure you activate the x-ray Let's start doing um, those legs. Press 1 to go to the front view. We need to add some edge loop over here, another one. So Control R, click with the mouse, move it up, and just left it here. And then we need to add two on the vertical in the center so control plus r and then press 2 click with the mouse button and press ask to fix them on that position now i need to make them a little bit closer to each other so s and x to lock it on the x axis that's good this way and now let's remove those three faces over here make sure that you have face select activated click on this one this one and this one and then press the delete or the x key and select faces the next thing is that we need to close this holes over here or these gaps let's select the vertices again select this one this one this one and this one and then press F to close and to add an extra face over here let's do the same from this for F and then 
this one over here now as you can see we have all the faces that uh, we need to to add created click on one to go to the front view again select all those vertices and then press s to scale it we are going to reduce them a little bit just a little bit that's good now we have our basic shape but uh, with some edges that we don't want to remove them but actually we are not going to remove them we are going to add a subdivision modifier okay that is going to do this for us over here change these settings to three i think that three is enough and then click on tab to go to edit mode if you have left i have left edit mode so i need to click on tab again um, and now relative to the legs as you can see on the reference image uh, they are not so the, the curves are not so pronunciated so we need to correct that press 1 to go to the front view and we are going to add one edge loop over here and another one over here so control R click and then ask to fix it on that place control R click and then ask now select them both press G to grab them and Z to lock them on the Z axis but as you probably notice I have just selected the front ones because I have not the X-ray activated so let's undo activate the X-ray press 1 again if you have left front view select all of them now they are all selected G to grab them or to move and Z to lock it on the Z axis and move it a little bit down according to you to your taste and based on the reference picture <laughs> the reference picture does not help us a lot but uh, I think that is good this way that's nice um, I think that uh, the, the body is a little bit uh, fat or fatter than the, the legs so let's select this face over here the front one this one and this one on the front let's do the same for the back okay and then x and y to lock it on the y axis and let's increase it a little bit not too much i think a little bit is enough and as you can see now we have the basic shape of uh, the character that we want to 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 design um the next thing that we are going to do is to add then the the helmet i suppose that this is the helmet so if you are in edit mode just leave it press tab press shift a to add another another mesh in this case let's add another cube let's scale and scale it down a little bit by pressing s then press one to go to the front view no press three to go to the right g to grab it and move it up a little bit over here um activate the x-ray mode again click on tab to go to edit mode make sure that you have over here face selected and let's remove this one because we are not going to need it so press the delete or the x key and then select faces now press one to go to the front view okay Control plus R because we need to add an edge loop over here and then the escape key to position it 
on the center now that we have done this make sure that you still have those edges selected and press s to scale them and x to scale it on the x axis increase them a little bit i think that is good this way now the next thing that we need to do is to add the subdivision modifier on this object also so add modifier subdivision and then increase to three again we are going to use three i have as it edit mode i have done this on the on the back and not on the front and now that we don't have the x-ray activated if we go to the front view we, we are not seeing the object to go to the back press ctrl plus one and now let's scale it a little bit on the x-axis so press s and x scale it at your own taste uh, again we are not uh, we have not um, a reference that give us the the correct sizes of of the object so that's up to you for me i think that it is good this way um i am going to add another shape over here in this case we have only c black we we that's not uh, something that we need to use but i think that we look better so for this i am going to duplicate this shape over here shift d to duplicate and then ask to left them on the place and then press s to scale it a little bit and then g and y to move them on the y-axis click on tab to go to edit mode and ctrl plus r to add an edge loop over here i think that's good now press g and y again to move them down let's scale it a little bit s press 3 to go to the right view activate the x-ray this object is a little too big we don't need all this distance that's inside the, the body of the of the character so press tab to go to edit mode make sure that you have vertices over here selected select this ones over here and then g and y to grab them on the y-axis click on tab again to exit the edit mode and deactivate the x-ray i think that is good now let's make the the backpack we are going to use a cube also shift a mesh and then cube s and y to scale it on the y-axis i think that this size is good press 3 to go to the right view and g to grab it and place them on the back I think it, it is a little big so let's scale them uh, again press 3 to go to the right view S and Z to scale it on the Z axis again that's up to you press ctrl plus 1 to go to the front view S and X to scale it on the X axis For me, that's okay. For you, you decide which size you are going to use. 
Now click on tab to go to edit mode. Make sure that all the object is selected by pressing the A key. By default it is already selected, but if not, you can press the A key to select and A twice to deselect. Okay. Now let's activate the X-ray. Select all the object. Okay. And then control B to bevel the edges. I think that this size is okay to me. Now press tab to exit the edit mode, deactivate the x-ray and then again let's add a subdivision modifier. Choose three on both and now we have our little character already created. It's easy, right? Uh, but as you can see, now we have see, seen all those faces. To remove that, let's just add the shade smooth. Okay, go to the object, make sure that you have uh, your object selected, object and shade smooth. Okay, do the same for all the other ones. Very good, now that's perfect. Um, let's add some textures. Press 1. Um, activate the X-ray. Select all the objects. Make sure that you are not in edit mode. And let's move the, the position of the character to the, to the zero or trying to position it next to the zero on the, on the Z-axis. So press G and Z to grab them on the z-axis and move it up more or less near this red line over here. That's good. You can now deactivate the x-ray. Now let's add a plane. Shift A, Mesh and Plane. Press S to scale it and type uh, maybe 200 and enter. That's good. Now, as you probably noticed, I have not uh, removed the light and the camera from the scene. Let's position the light. I'm not sure if we are going to use the point, but let's try with this one. So press 7 to go to the top view, G to grab the light, and try to place the light a little bit in front and in the middle of the object. I think that is good. This will going to work on EV or cycles, but for this case let's use cycles. So make sure that you click here on render properties and where it says render engine activate cycles. It probably should be EV by default. And now let's click over here on uh, the view on where it says viewport shading on this one to see a preview of our render. That is good. Let's add some textures. Go to the shading tab. Select the object that you want to add the texture. You can also click here to see the render preview. No problem. Let's change the color to orange as we have on our base reference over here. That's nice. Let's use the orange over here also. Select the object, click on the material tab over here, click over here and over here. I'm not sure what have happened. Let me just see. G. I don't know. Maybe it's a, 
it's a bug. Let me repeat the process. I don't know what happened. Maybe it's a little bug. So let's undo. Now it's good. I suppose that uh, it happened only in preview, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know for sure. So let's move on. For this one, I'm going to use a little bit more like glass. So click here to separate the materials because I am using the same here and here. Okay. And if I change the settings of this one, it will affect this one also. So click here and then here. And now let's increase, for example, the metallic. Okay, and now the transmission to the top and decrease the roughness a little bit. That's perfect. For this case, we can try to create or to use the orange. Let's undo. Again, it have happened something. I don't know what. Um, I'm not sure if I am going to use the orange. Let me try black, for example. I am using my imagination, okay, because on the reference picture we don't have reference to those details. So I think that black is not good. So I will decrease it a little bit. In this case, that's good for me this way. Let's add another one to the backpack. Click here and select the same one that we are using on the body. And that's pretty nice actually. Let's just click here to the world settings. Click where it says color and reduce the background to black okay and now let's go to the front view to see how our character will look like i think that it is uh, very good um, i'm sorry about those little errors that uh, have appeared i don't know what happened I hope that you have liked doing this tutorial. I hope that you have liked this tutorial. If so, please subscribe my channel and I hope to see you soon.